Hey folks, I'm Linda McRae and uh, I'm starting a new online concert series. It's called uh, Come Out From Under the Covers. And my uh, first show is on uh, May 24th at 3 p.m. Central Time. And my first guest is going to be a wonderful guitarist, producer, singer, songwriter by the name of Colin Linden. He's worked with oh, yeah. Bruce Coburn, um, Bob Dylan, T-Bone Burnett, all kinds of amazing people. And he happened, just so happened to produce my very first record. So, uh, But all the proceeds from, I've decided instead of using a paywall, I've decided to um, support some of my favorite charities. And there's a fellow in East Tennessee who's going to join us now. Um, his, he has a... He has a wonderful festival called Jammin' and Tapey Jacks, and um, their mandate is to, I'm going to just read the mission here, is sure. to promote, present, and preserve Americana roots music while serving the underserved people of Appalachia with fairness, dignity, and compassion. We have the founder with us today, Jack Stoddard, lovingly known as Hippie Jack. Welcome, Jack. <laughs> nice to be here. Nice to be anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that true? Hey, uh, can you tell uh, tell us a little bit about how this all came about and what you're up to? Well, I don't know how much detail you want. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I traveled as a fine art photographer, uh, creating silver gel imagery for 35 years. Wow. And uh, there came a point where I was tired of the road, as you well know that could happen. And also, it was harder and harder to get quality materials. And... Uh, all filmmakers or all photographers want to be filmmakers or they're liars. And, uh, <laughs> and rather than uh, pursue that any further, we started a small show out here, a music show, and we started broadcasting on WCTE, which at the time was the smallest PBS affiliate in the country. And just for fun, just for fun. And in the beginning, we we always tried to do a little community involvement, a little awareness, you know, because it's the right thing to do and try to keep the cops off our ass. And uh, we worked with uh, the Stevens Center to prevent child abuse. And we worked with TDOT. We worked with uh, Souls for Souls. And then one day, uh, the man that would become the chairman of our nonprofit board said he wanted to do a food collection at during, at the end of the festival and during the festival. And yeah. he said he would take care of get, distributing it to the food pantries and such. And uh, that's kind of how that part started. Right. Uh, you actually do a lot of the distribution yourself, don't you? Like, well, that was, I was just about to say, <laughs> I didn't really want to. I don't want anybody to think I'm some kind of saint here because I surely am not. Uh, I really didn't want to do any of the distri distribution, honestly. And it really, it came to my attention pretty, pretty quickly that there were a lot of people falling through the cracks, that uh, uh, there are those that are deemed deserving and those that are deemed not deserving. Right. And, and a lot of the satellite distributors really had a lot of regulations and rules designed to keep certain people from partaking in the, in yeah. the operation. <laughs> I'll probably be quiet here. And uh, so I, I did say, I said, uh, I'll take them. And uh, that started and, and, and it's been a joy and it's been a, a pain and it's, it, there's a lot of, a lot of, I, I become angry sometimes. I become desperate to try to explain to people the nature of, of the receivers. And I finally just said, listen, we don't have any rules. Uh, the only criteria to get something from us is to receive. Right. And uh, that's what we go with. And that's, and so far, and we've thrown it up to the, to the fates. I said, we haven't run out of food or really haven't run out of money. And it's so fun. amazing. Cause especially, I mean, right now with the tornado that hit in oh, East Tennessee, uh, you know, a month and a half ago. And, and with all the COVID stuff that's going on, I've, I've gone to some of your, uh, the Christmas events events yeah. that you have there and you have this beautiful they, he's built Jack's built this beautiful um, building that's all candlelit at, at our Christmas sanctuary. time. Our sanctuary. our sanctuary. It's so beautiful. I just love it. And people like Tim O'Brien and uh, Mary Gaucher and 
Kevin Gordon and uh, all kinds of amazing folks come out and play for free and people, your admission is to bring a coat, right. a winter right. coat or some food right. or, or, or whatever. And it's or, just- Or take some. Or take some. Oh, yeah. That's just, it's just such an amazing event. And the feeling in that room is, it's electric and it's just magical. And it feels so great to be able to help help out you know i just appreciate so much what you do and and also for the music and for the musicians it's just you have some of the most incredible people at jamming at hippie jacks is a really fun camping festival and if you ever yeah. get a chance to go i highly recommend it yeah yeah it's uh it's turned into something that we never knew it would be yeah that's that's so great well thank you so much jack and what's your what's the website address so people can check that out all right, we are at www.jammin at hippiejacks.com. Uh, Jammin at Hippie Jacks, also Facebook, uh, also Jack Stoddard, S T O D D A R T, Facebook. If you want to witness me arguing with uh, people that don't agree with me, go there. And, <laughs> and let me add that one of the shows we're going to feature uh, on the, probably on the 23rd is uh, Daryl Scott with Greg Brown. Oh, was, no way. Oh, man, that's it fantastic. Is, it is really good. Oh, no kidding. Um, yeah, well, you're actually going to be the, your festival usually takes place over uh, yeah. Memorial Day weekend. Right. And it's, of course, it's been uh, canceled like everything else has right. been as well for all the musicians and everything. But you're going to be doing an online we are. Uh, thing this weekend and it's our ours coincidentally is also on the on the That's sunday good. at three o'clock but hopefully it won't conflict too much ah, we'll be all right we'll yeah. slip by yeah <laughs> for <laughs> sure and i'm actually going to do another one on june 7th and i'm trying i'm just waiting to hear back from someone who's played uh one of those christmas shows before all so right, cool i will let you know about that but Thank you so much, Jack. Uh, just well. really appreciate everything you're doing for all the folks up there and for, for all the musicians and keeping the music live. Uh, you're just a force to be reckoned with, and we just appreciate it. Oh, I'm a force, all right. Let me leave you with one thought, if okay. I may. Sometimes feed the hungry means pay the rent, build a wheelchair ramp, or help somebody that really needs some help in other ways. So that's kind of our catchphrase, but uh, there's so much more to it than that. Oh, yeah.